I'm Heather Moyse and I am here in beautiful Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island at the Culinary Institute and guess who's cooking for me today? I am here with Chef Andrew Nicholson and he's going to show me uh, what we're going to prepare today. What's the, what's the story for today? Today we're doing baked PEI potatoes. Okay. Which are very nutritional, very easy to make and something that can be ready for you when you get home with 45 minutes in the oven. Now Andrew, baked potatoes usually sound really boring. So I'm hoping you're going to spice it up a little we're bit. We're going to jazz it up. We're going to do a classic variation and then we're going to show you a couple of different ways you can make it a full meal and, okay. and another way to make it just a little, change it up a little bit. Perfect. Sounds okay. good. So first thing we're going to do is, the, is called the classic Jackson. So we have our baked bourbon, or russet potato um, baked in the oven 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Okay. We're going to cut it open and we're going to take a, a spoon or a fork and we're going to take out the insides. Now as we're doing this, Potatoes are very healthy. They're very easy to make. Uh, they have... They are healthy. They are. They have about 45% of your daily vitamin C, do they not? They do, exactly. And they have a lot of nutrition and fibers in the skins. And they have no cholesterol, no sodium. No and fat. no fat. And also more potassium than a banana. And more potassium than a banana or a kiwi. Something that um, people often get, get, forget about is that potatoes are actually vegetables. And so by having a potato and topping it with some other things and making things interesting, you actually are getting your vegetables while you're eating these potatoes. So people often just think of them as carbs, but they're actually a starch. It's not like pasta, it's not like rices and, and breads and stuff like that. So it's actually a really, really exactly. healthy thing to get you a lot of energy during the day. Exactly. So we said there's no sodium in them, but we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper just for flavoring. But that's under our own control. That's under our control, and we'd add as little or as much as we'd like. Uh, we're also going to, so we have sour cream or baked potato meat, we have bacon bits, and we have chives. Okay. Salt and pepper. Taste it for seasoning, and then if you want to crisp up your baked potato a little bit, you can put it back in the oven while you're doing this. It'll okay. crisp up the skin. And then we're going to take this stuffing and we're going to put it back in the potato. Back in the potato, okay. Back in the potato. And that makes it very easy. And then if you do these up ahead, you can just flash the whole thing in the oven to heat it up, and it's ready for a meal in a so few good. minutes. That looks so good. Now, if you are concerned about some calories, you can, it's the stuff that you put in the potato that you really have to worry about. So things like sour cream, you can choose to use light sour cream. You can use less salt and that sort of thing. So exactly. it's that, those sorts of things that you can control. But there's, wow, that's actually, there's a full meal. All right. So then we just melt the cheese in the oven a little bit if you wish to. And, and this is called a classic. Classic Jackson. Okay, good. Right. Now some other options. The other options, we, ha we, have, uh, our s we have a similar idea. We have the baked potato, and, and if you want the fresher variety where you don't have the sour cream and the fat, you can just use a natural bruschetta, okay. which is very easy to make with fresh tomatoes, some chives, some uh, garlic, green onions, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, maybe some olive oil. Just, and just chop and dice it all up? Dice it up, mix it all together, okay. and just put it over the potato, over the baked potato as is. If you want to warm it a little bit in a saute pan, okay. and then you can sprinkle a little fresh Parmesan cheese over top. Now, and that's that healthy, sounds pretty easy, reason. but if you're in a rush and you're rushing home from the store, your baked potatoes are very easy to make, but you can always cheat and grab a little bit of bruschetta at the store on the way home. Or use fresh tomatoes. <laughs> or use fresh tomatoes, like the chef says. The other variety is if you want to do, uh, if you have a slow cooker and you want to have okay. a little bit of protein in your diet, Got it. You, can do a, you can do a pork shoulder um, and put it in the slow roaster and braise it all day in barbecue sauce, onions and apples. Okay, so wait a second. Slow cooker, you're putting braised pork in there. You do putting your pork shoulder in there. Right, you're and then you're... Some barbecue sauce. Okay. Some apples and a little bit of onion. Okay. You slow cook it in the, in the uh, slow roaster all day so that it's done when you get home. And then you put it over top of the baked potato with some grated cheese. <sighs> yeah, this one you've got to try. Slow cooker, try this one at home. And that's a full meal right there. And that's a full meal. You've got everything from all the food groups. You've got three variations there. Wow, that's uh, okay. I'm 2010 Olympic gold medalist Heather Moyes, and I eat PEI potatoes. Thanks for watching.